morning. The community is mourning the big loss of Stan Brock. There's a notice on my office wall that says never forget the mission. And the mission is to treat people and to help people. Ah, oh, his voice, just such kindness in his voice. I could listen to him talk for hours. He founded Remote Area Medical in 1985 to give people in need essential health care. Since then, RAM has provided free dental, vision, and basic health care to more than 740,000 people. RAM CEO says Brock suffered a stroke in recent days that led to his passing. He was 82 years old, and the community is remembering him, of course, very fondly this morning. Russell Biven is live at RAM's headquarters as they will continue to carry out his mission. And Russell, it is so neat seeing the pictures behind you. You've been showing all morning that show he was so <laughs> So yeah. much. I mean, he was just so much. That's the best way to say it. It probably is. I mean, he was on those missions. You know, he would sleep there at those missions when they would go on these trips. He would sleep on that little mat that he had that he would always sleep on. Just an incredible human being. And the life he lived before remote area medical, I mean, just I mean, what can you even say? Just breathtaking. He was on Mutual of Omaha's Wild Kingdom, which was a show about everything there is in the wild. And Stan was the stunt guy that would go out and do all the crazy stuff. I mean, he was a guy that would be on a horse and lasso a cheetah, or he would jump in and wrestle an anaconda, or wrestle alligators. I mean, he was truly, truly one of a kind. Was in TV shows, was in movies, was a star in some of these movies. Just lived an incredible life, but he will be remembered for all of those that he helped for sure. And we wanna bring in one of the board members of Remote Area Medical, uh, John Myers, who has been with Stan really since the start of this. First of all, we're, we're deeply sorry for your loss. Well, thank you, Russell. Um, I've been with Stan for about 35 years almost. So yeah, known him a long time and uh, been on his board. Uh, but uh, as a board member, I think uh, we all have a very vested interest to make sure his legacy continues. Uh, I think we're well set up to do that. Uh, uh, Stan uh, made sure of that and the board made sure of that. Um, I think a number of years ago, Stan, as mm -hmm. you probably know, stepped down as CEO yeah. and handpicked uh, Mr. Eastman over there yeah. uh, to, to take the reins. And uh, we've been very pleased with him uh, all along the way. And this, Stan knew the mission was bigger than he was. Yes, definitely, definitely. How can folks help Remote Area Medical or Honor Stan Brock this morning? I think a uh, number of number of uh, uh, avenues. First of all, being a volunteer at some of our clinics, I think we've had tens of thousands of volunteers over the years who have participated in these clinics. And really, that's that's his legacy. It's mm. not not just a RAM headquarters yeah. or anything else. It's the it's the tens of thousands of people that have participated. Uh, not to mention, of course, we've got a very loyal board of 12 people and a great staff, a very talented staff of uh, 34 people. So uh, uh, I think we're well fixed, actually. Oh, that's terrific. I think, uh, you know, also remember us in, in terms of giving because yeah. that's what we exist on is, is donations. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for your time this morning. Again, we truly sorry for your loss. And uh, you can also help volunteer. Uh, RAM needs, still needs some dentists and doctors for a September eighth mission trip that they are doing here in East Tennessee on a medical trip. So if you would like to help that, you can go to their website. You can also learn much more about Stan Brock at WBIR.com. A sad day, but also a happy at least to have great memories of this founder of RAM, Abby. Absolutely. A good way to put it. Our hearts are certainly with those folks who knew him the best. Thanks, Russ.